I am Derek Smith. I work in the financial operations department at uh, here at PCOM. I have a history of an irregular heartbeat as well as an enlarged right ventricle, um, which basically means I shouldn't be overexerting myself. Um, I should take it easy, exercise light, lightly, and I. This is a circumstance where I wasn't doing that. Um, I figured I was okay to play basketball, and some of the employees and I, we have a pickup basketball game that we play once or twice a week. I overexerted myself. We were playing in the middle of a game, and I ended up collapsing on the court. I knew immediately that the sound wasn't natural. A natural fall, you brace yourself and you go down softly. It was his head hitting the floor. Uh, initially, we did have a, a light pulse and there were some respiratory efforts. After a few minutes, um, the respiratory efforts were decreased and we lost the pulse. We began CPR. My role throughout the CPR was to give breaths through the duration of the event. Um, once the AED was put on, we ended up having to give Derek two shocks. After the second one, I was able to palpate a radio pulse in Derek's right hand and he shortly thereafter opened his eyes and started making some vocalizations and he was breathing on his own again. Between the time frame of Derek's collapse and resuscitation, there were three physicians present as well as a faculty member who teaches advanced cardiac life support and um, happily none of us was needed. The students were phenomenal. They uh, responded immediately, the quick action and um, dispersion of, of roles uh, really helped to save a life and I couldn't be more proud of the students. And, and I had been involved in several code situations before this incident but nothing where there wasn't an attending on hand initially and it was hard to know exactly what to do at each second because it happened so suddenly but being there with my colleagues who also had the same fears and, and worrying exa about exactly what to do I was able to just take a step back and, realize, and think about my training with uh, during my first and second year as a medical student and also uh, in the hospital and realized that it was obviously most important to check for a pulse and then if no pulse is present to, to immediately start chest compression. And after maybe two or three sets of compressions, um, I swapped in with him uh, just to make sure that we had enough uh, power in the compressions to be uh, perfusing Derek properly. And then after three sets of compressions, I noticed that uh, my compressions started to get a little bit weak. Uh, and then Kyle swapped in with me. So I think one of the most important things that I found during this situation is that you can practice a lot on the, the, the compression dummies, but they collapse relatively easily. And on a real person, especially a, a fit person like Derek is, it takes a lot of strength to be doing these uh, compressions properly. And it's important to realize that when you start to get tired, you need to swap yourself out and have someone fresh come in to be doing it properly. Fortunately, during the incident, one of Derek's coworkers called me and I immediately told him to get a pen so I could give him a list of Derek's medications along with his medical issues. Um, but thankfully, there were no long-term ramifications or side effects from this incident. Um, he does not have any brain damage or uh, short-term memory loss and no other um, ailments associated with this episode. They were practicing medicine. These are like the doctors of tomorrow and they were practicing medicine today. They were doing exactly what physicians are supposed to do. Dr. Uh, Chan showed up from the family medicine department and Bob Sklar came. And we had all of these faculty from the departments, of, from different departments in the school that all sort of independently are trying to teach these students to use these skills. And we were all sort of basically standing back watching the students do it on their own. What, I, what was most significant for me for this situation was that no matter how many times you read it in a book, um, until you're actually in the situation and you, uh, you, you go through it, um, it, it really helps your confidence and I'm going to bring that with me to the hospitals. I learned that no matter what you learn, nothing will prepare you for the actual experience because you don't realize when you go to feel a pulse, you feel your own pulse. You need to take a step back, take a breath and really you know, focus on the situation at hand because it's a life at stake. 
Um, we appreciate the fact that you took the time to take this training to be enrolled at PCOM and that you used your training to help save my husband's life. All of the surgeons and doctors told us that if this happened anywhere else, he wouldn't have made it. So um, thank you from the bottom of my heart and we're grateful that he's here and that you were prepared and ready to help save his life.